All right, guys, welcome back to another one. In today's video, I want to talk about D23 2024. Considering that we are fast approaching, this event takes place from August 9th through to August 11th. It's crazy that we're in August. This year is going way too quickly. As I've talked about, the prime opportunity for Kingdom Hearts to show up at any point throughout this year would be Summer Games Fest. Been and gone, unfortunately nothing happened. D23 in August, Tokyo Game Show comes September, and the Game Awards come December. So over the next two and a half months-ish, we've got at least two prime opportunities for Kingdom Hearts to show up in some shape or form, whether it be KH4 or Missing Link. Hopefully. Especially Missing Link. It's really strange that we haven't heard anything. The information on the official websites has been just on, like, uh, coming soon. Pre-registration information is, is around the corner, but it's still missing. So I expect at least something to happen with Missing Link over the next two months. D23 is the big Disney event that happens every two years over in Anaheim, California. It's where Disney like to reveal a lot of new stuff to do with their movies, their series, with Marvel. There were three pretty big reveals for Kingdom Hearts 3 at D23 in 2013. We got the very first gameplay trailer at the Japan D23. In August of 2015 at the American D23, we got the announcement that Big Hero 6 would be a world. And in 2018, at the Japan D23, we got the Monsters Inc. trailer. And I have no idea how I forgot this, but four trailers, not three, in the year before in 2017, we of course got the D23 Toy Story reveal trailer. So because of these Kingdom Hearts happenings at this event, Kingdom Hearts fans always tend to pay close attention whenever this event rolls around. And this year is no exception, especially when we've been two years without any word on Kingdom Hearts 4. Square Enix pipeline, for the most part, is clear. Kingdom Hearts 4 should at least be the next major AAA title from the company. One thing that I do want to mention about D23, while it's not directly related to Kingdom Hearts, I do find it maybe a little bit suspicious. I don't want to start hyping people up, but like I find it just uncanny. Disney revealed some pins that will be on sale at this event. A whole collection. These are them right here. This is the World Series pins. Do these look a little bit familiar to you? Now what you should know is, this is not Kingdom Hearts merch. This is official Disney merch, but it's got nothing to do with Kingdom Hearts. Clearly though, these pins are taking mass inspiration from Kingdom Hearts because this looks like a Disney world from Kingdom Hearts. The funny thing too is all of these pins, aside from two, have all appeared in Kingdom Hearts. So it's kind of quite interesting to see world arts here of these familiar Disney worlds from Kingdom Hearts but looking very different. I think in some cases, some of them actually look better than the ones that we see in Kingdom Hearts, like Halloween Town, for example, or Olympus Coliseum, or Neverland. But yeah, the ones that should be talked about here are Zootopia and Coco. I know that these are two Disney properties that people would absolutely love to see in Kingdom Hearts, especially Coco. With the themes of Coco and what that movie is about, it totally makes sense for Kingdom Hearts 4. There's been a lot of talk on Twitter about this. Uh, talking about uh, Disney starting to tease. Does this mean something? I don't know. Uh, this is the question that I'm asking you too. I mean, my brain, because I've got Kingdom Hearts brain rot, naturally leans in that direction. But again, keep in mind, this is not Kingdom Hearts merch. Clearly, the artist behind these pieces right here likes Kingdom Hearts. Uh, this has definitely come from someone that has played Kingdom Hearts. I have to say though, the price of these sets is ridiculous. Um, obviously, they're incredibly limited. I believe you can only purchase them if you're actually in attendance. And for each set, you get four pins. You get the world along with three characters that correspond to that Disney property. But each set is 75 US dollars. <laughs> For three pieces of metal? Now, the official D23 schedule has been released, and of course, I have hawked over it to see if there's literally anything that could potentially point towards something to do with Kingdom Hearts happening over the three days. The only thing that's on the schedule that is in relation to video games is the Epic Mickey Rebrushed panel, which is happening on Friday, August 9th from 12.15 to 1.15. There is also going to be a playable demo of Epic Mickey Rebrushed at the event for attendees to try out. By the way, I, I have to say, I'm excited for this. We've been waiting a long time for Epic Mickey to get a remaster or to come back in some way, and it finally is. It was 
stuck on the Nintendo Wii, so to know that it's coming to all systems is great. I never ended up experiencing it, so this is actually one of my most anticipated games of 2024. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that is a little bit suspicious here is the to be announced panel in brackets Disney Entertainment happening at 12 p.m. on the 11th. Because if Kingdom Hearts were to be here, there's no way they would put it on a schedule. I do want to bring up this one tweet here that was in relation to Geo HMK talking about D23. Gio was talking about in his original tweet how there doesn't seem to be any video game based panels uh, for the schedule of D23 aside from Epic Mickey. A guy that goes by the name of Jared Solchi, <laughs> love the name dude, great name, who operates a Disney fan page that goes by the name of Discover the Magic mentioned that it will be at the Disney Experiences Showcase, the division is parks, experiences and products and video games are under that division and the head of the division said games will be showcased and featured at this presentation Saturday night. By the way, when Jared is mentioning it will be at the Disney Experiences Showcase, the it will be part, I think is in reference to just video games in general, not Kingdom Hearts. So let's not get that confused. And this adds up, there was a Q&A that was held by the Walt Disney Company with Michael Vargo, the vice president of D23 in March of this year, where he mentioned fans will get to hear a lot about the theme parks, cruise ships and resorts around the world and gaming will also be a big part of it. Josh Diamaro always gives a great look into everything that's in the works for Disney experiences and this year will be no different. The Disney Experiences Showcase is happening on Saturday night at 7 p.m. So if Kingdom Hearts is going to show up at D23, this is the prime spot where it will happen. However though, Kingdom Hearts stuff generally comes out of literally nowhere, and it has been a little while since something substantial for Kingdom Hearts has happened. If we're not really including the big Steam release, that's cool and all, but I'm talking about new, new, new. Especially looking at Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, because that shit is missing, someone needs to find it. Especially if they are still on track for 2024. Otherwise, if nothing at D23, we can continue to clown forward into September for the Tokyo Game Show. <laughs> I'm dying out here, man! I need to know what's going on with my Disney RPG! My bird is like, what's wrong with you? Good question. I'm still trying to figure it out. However, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the antics going on here, as well as checking out my other social media platforms. Thank you so much, as always, to my turkey-tastic patrons. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and we'll talk real soon.